there are a bunch of portable battery chargers for your iPhone out in the marketplace, but I'm going to be reviewing one that's got some unique features that I think you may like, so stay tuned. Hey, it's High Tech Dad, and thanks for visiting my review, and welcome to my channel where I review all types of tech and gadgets that are good for the home, for the family, smart home, fix-its, that sort of thing. So today we're taking a look at this portable battery by Mophie, and this is the Snap Plus Juice Pack Mini. And it's got some unique features, as I mentioned, that maybe some other batteries have out there, but I know Mophie, I know the brand, they produce some pretty solid stuff. And they sent me this out to review, so we're going to go through an unboxing and I'll sort of walk through some of the features on it. So I always manage to destroy boxes as I open them up, but let's see if maybe this time I won't. Um, so it's not too heavy. And then inside we have the actual device here. It's got a little arrow to pick it up. It's covered in plastic, and there is a USB-C to USB-C cable in here. So let's see um, what this looks like, if I can even peel it off, figure out where it is. Yep, so we got the case off. So it is fairly small. You can see that there is a USB-C port on the side, and I'm assuming that that can be used for charging. And then it looks like this is the stand. So you would essentially put it up and tilt it as you, you'd like. You can see here is the, the MagSafe connector. You could do it flat if you want to as well. So let's test it out. So as I said, there isn't too much on the sides of this. There is the USB-C charging port that's also, uh, you can go outbound as well. There is an LED here that turns on when you are charging something. And then uh, there is a recess button here with a battery level indicator. I haven't charged this yet, so it's only showing a, a very small charge. And then this is the hinge that uh, it opens up and um, I have a USB cable already plugged into the wall so when you plug it in here you can see that it starts to show the charging so it's blinking showing that it's charging so let me charge it a little bit and then uh, let's test it out so I charged it for just a few minutes just to, to see how it all works out. Obviously, it'll probably take a couple hours to fully charge it. It's not a huge battery. It's fairly lightweight and portable. So first of all, here's some AirPods. You put it on. You should see the uh, green light go on, hopefully. There's the green light, and then there's a little indicator that comes on uh, at the bottom that shows that it's charging. Take that off. And then eventually this little light here turns off. Then you can also just lay an iPhone on. I mean, it does have matching um, sort of MagSafe charger icons, but you don't have to like line them up exactly. It can be sideways or what have you. So I put it on. This iPhone was already charged, so it's uh, it says that it's connected and charging. But the neat thing about this is is obviously the stand. So um, you have the, the stand like this. I'm going to tilt it back a little bit more than I... Okay, total rookie move. I had this completely upside down. Didn't look at the instructions. Wanted to figure out, see if I could figure it out myself. I thought that this was the stand and it would sit like this. But actually, it's more of a TP mode. So you have it this way. You put it um, on a flat surface that way. You can adjust it high, you can adjust it low, and then it doesn't matter what size iPhone you have, you just snap it on and the magnets align and you can charge it that way and then you can rotate it as well once you get the magnets lined up and it'll, it'll charge that way and then go into 
the calendar clock mode or however you want to display it. So anyway, my bad. Now I know. I guess I should read the manual once in a while. So I do all sorts of product reviews like this on YouTube as well as on my website. So I encourage you to head over to my website at hightechdad.com. If you have questions, you can always ask me on social media. Uh, my handle is High Tech Dad. You just search for it. You can find me in a variety of uh, platforms. You can also follow me on Facebook. And I'm at facebook.com forward slash HTD blog. And if you have any questions, please be sure to leave them in the comments below. Um, I'd be happy to answer them if I can. Be sure to like, subscribe. I'm going to be doing more and more product reviews like this. So, um, be watching out on my channel for those. So thanks for watching and see you in the next tech review.